Never say anything like this. I'd rather die than use emoticons like that. Syllabus. It better not be a joke. But I wonder what's up with the come alone part. Anyway, I guess I'd better go meet up with places. The beast statue located at Delta Gallant Seasons Drunkard. Hmm. Potential member is waiting. I have got to hurry on over to the Beast Statue at Delta Gallant Seasons Drunkard.
Don't cry later! That was nothing. Okay, tough guys, bring it on! That was nothing. Uh -huh. 
You're late. I've been waiting for you for quite a while now. <sighs> it's you guys again. I wish I could say it's all because of my love for you, but this time it's strictly business. Business? It looks like you went and pissed off some more of the wrong people again. It's a pretty foolish move to challenge the Arena Emperor. You! How do you know about that? Just so you know, I'm not the only one who's dying to get a piece of you. And now, not only did I not have to set you up, but I even get paid to kill the poor misguided terror of death. It's so perfect. It's almost scary. You mean you replied to the post? Oh, damn it! Hold it right there, PKers. Huh? Oh my. Tell me. What would one of the top Moon Tree members be doing in a place like this? I've come to talk about proper online etiquette with wild, mannerless players like you. Whatever. How about I be generous and PK the whole lot of you? That would only cause more problems for you. You see, we of Moon Tree are prohibited from attacking other players. However, Defense against unjust violence is another story. Yeah, it ain't prohibited at all, damn lowlives. Now bring it on! Go ahead! Just try and kill me! Don't get hasty, Matsu. I know, Sakaki. There's no need to worry. I'm not gonna attack first. <laughs> I believe that you are a part of Kestrel, are you not? I have heard that the guild master of Kestrel, Gabi, is a tolerant man. But he doesn't endorse player kills, does he? If he finds out that you unjustly try to PK members of Moon Tree, he will have no choice but to instigate disciplinary measures on you, isn't that right? <sighs> or are you particularly special to Master Gabi, Miss Bordeaux? Fine. I am happy to see that you understand me so quickly. Furthermore, Haseo... ...is a friend of Atali, one of us. May I ask you to refrain from trying to PK him as well? <sighs> I haven't heard a reply. All right, fine, whatever. I won't PK him. That's all you need, right? Good. But, arena battles are an exception. But of course, that makes sense. Arena battles are conducted with both participants' consent. Do you hear that, Haseo? You had better be ready when you come to the arena. You can relax now. After all, they are not so stupid as to risk their own positions within their guild. You've got the whole Hero of Justice thing down. Is that your character, or really you? We only did what any other online game player would have done for another player in need. <laughs> I am no Hero of Justice. I don't know. You guys seem a little too deliberate. And you've got the timing down perfect. The reason why we made it here in time is because Atali received advanced warning. Advanced warning? Yes. That little boy from the shop told me. Excuse me, yes? I was wondering, you're friends with Haseo, aren't you?
Apparently, the one who wrote the fake response and the one who hired the PKer was in fact his twin sister. Saku? Yes. He said that his sister is sleeping right now, so... Anyway, I didn't want to do anything by myself, so I called Sakaki. I'm glad he made it. So, when the hell did I ever say that I needed you to help me, huh? Haseo! How rude of you. Don't you realize that Atali is the one who is responsible for saving you? The very least you can do is thank her. Okay, fine. Thank you. Now you happy? What an incredibly small-hearted person you are. I'm quite saddened. Well, putting that aside, it would seem that a lot has been happening to you lately, Haseo. If you have any trouble you would like help with, Feel free to rely on any one of us at any time. No thanks. I'd feel like I was brainwashed for asking. You bastard! You've got some nerve. How dare you talk to Sakaki like that! Be still, Matsu. But... this guy... Haseo, isn't it hard for you to think of everyone you meet in this game as an enemy? I find that it's much easier to depend on one another, and to understand one another. Don't you agree? I'm not interested in you or your religion. You. Matsu. Uh, yes sir. Sorry. Haseo, I would very much like for you and I to be able to understand each other better. Sorry, not interested. It's not like I need you guys. That is a shame. Very well then. But I do hope that you will change your mind before we meet again. Thank you very much, Sakaki. Um... Hmm? I'm sorry about all those obnoxious things I said earlier. Fine. I'm really, really sorry. Huh. Well, that was a total waste of time, wasn't it? Oh, you're searching for someone on the forums. You need just one more person, right? Yeah. Then I'll do it. I'll fight with you. Uh, are you for real? Yes, I am. But I thought you hated that whole winning-losing thing. I do, but I thought about it, and I realized that it's no good for me just to force Moon Tree on you. I also have to try and understand you, as well as the arena and battles and everything else like that. <sighs> Besides, is it really so strange, so bad for me? To want to know what the taste of victory is like for once in my life? No, I think it's great that you want that. All right, then. I'll let you taste it. You'll experience the joy of victory. Yeah.
Now that we've got our third player, Sale? You look happy. <laughs> what happened? I guess I am happy. I found our third member. It's, well, it's Adelie. Hey, congratulations! As I promised, I'll be glad to join you in the arena. Me, Haseo, and Atali. Let's form a party with the three of us and head for the Lumina Cloth Arena counter. It's almost time for our first match. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. The weight is killing me. How about you, Haseo? Are you okay? Nervous or anything? Hey, fighting in the arena is exactly the same as hunting monsters, you know. No different. But with all of the people around watching you, it does make for a lot of pressure. Long ago, when I just started, I tried participating in the arena. I was so nervous, I couldn't do anything. And we ended up getting beaten really badly. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You okay with this, Atelie? <sighs> hey, Atelie. Huh? What is it? Is something wrong? She's pretty nervous. Everyone, don't worry. I'll do my best. We know you will. By the way, huh? What did I do out there? <sighs> <sighs> well, why don't you focus on healing skills? Okay, understood. I, I hope we'll be okay. Well, let's go and find out.
time for the festivities to begin! You calling us low-ranking cubs? Hey! More like a sleeping lion hungry for its first kill! Let your beastly instincts run wild! Fight's dirty? Nice compliment! While they're asleep, or while they're awake, they think of nothing other than the slaughter! This is their paradise! Just look at them, folks! Ready to rip the opponent in half! How will this fight end? Arena battles are basically the same as the regular battles. The main thing that's different this time is that we're fighting against and we can get hit with a Rengeki. The most important thing in the arena is a counter strategy to our opponent. Oh, look, Haseo. Best thing is to use the counter attack. If you use a skill trigger attack on an enemy while they're in this state, not only will a counter attack completely guard against an enemy, and on top of that, it'll even lower their morale gauge. You can defend against your... In other words, the more I use them, the better things will be for us. And that's it. Oh, but our opponents can also use counter attacks, so be really careful. I'm getting zero you. counter! <laughs> Good. Now you have an efficient way of raising. Yeah. Shadow flash. Heal blade. Shadow flash. Shadow counter. Like we'd lose to that team. Hey. <gasps> Adelie? <laughs> huh? We did it! <laughs> no, wait a minute! Hey! I said. Oh, Haseo, we really did it! We won, didn't we? Didn't we? Okay, get off of me! <gasps> I bet that other team is feeling really disappointed right now since they lost. Huh? Are you still talking about that? But... Come on, they're the same as you, right? Huh? Look, the more times that you lose, the sweeter the victory will taste. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're right. Then I'll pray for them to win in their next match. That's okay, right? You idiot. Coming from the victors, that would just sound like you're trying to rub it in. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try to be more careful from now on. So, are you delighted with your maiden victory or what? Not bad at all. Congratulations, little Haseo. Man, you're persistent. I might have to start respecting you just for that. But remember, your rank is still dead last. You're nowhere close. So, hurry up and climb all the way up the rankings. And then you can come against me. This time, I'll be sure to love you to death. <laughs>
is the time for the festivities to begin! You calling us low-ranking cubs? Hey! More like a sleeping lion hungry for its first kill! Let your beastly instincts run wild! Fight's dirty! Nice compliment! While they're asleep, or while they're awake, they think of nothing other than the slaughter! This is their paradise! Just look at them, folks! Ready to rip the opponent in half! How will this fight end? The rumors for him? Better check it out. The Project GU leader? What? Has Yada completely lost? Project GU leader? I guess I better go to the Hul Grand's Cathedral.
nice. I see that you have fallen straight into my trap, Triedge. I have finally found you. Come and become bound as you deserve. Who... who are you? Ha! You pathetic human beings are not worthy enough to know what my name is. <laughs> Slow Doberman! Heroes, the third! At your service! Ta-da! You just told me. Oh. Also, I better tell you that you've got the wrong guy. I am not Tri-Edge. Hmm. <laughs> Please accept my apologies. I had truly thought that you, sir, were Triage. So tell me, why are you looking for him? Hmm, well, listen to this. I have a completely hypothetical story for you. Imagine, if you will, a graphic designer at a certain game company. And that that man possessed the greatest confidence in his graphical creations. He logged into his company's game to experience his creations in their native environment. Mm -hmm. But one day he saw something he couldn't believe right before his very eyes. His super amazing, ultra incredibly cool graphics that he slaved over for many waking hours had been all etched up with these hideous triangular monstrosities. What blasphemy, what lunacy! Now, having transformed into a demon fueled by the fires of revenge, this hypothetical man used the forums to lay an impeccable trap, a foolproof plan for the culprit. Is that story really hypothetical? Of course it is. I said that it was, didn't I? Anyway, you're no match for Triage. Stop chasing him for your own sake. Don't try to dissuade me. I'm never going to stop until I can find a way to trap him. So I guess you're looking for Triage too. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, could you please tell me if you find any more areas with Triage signs in them? Hmm. Although you are dressed in some of the deepest black known to man, looking at you, I believe I do detect a little glimmer of justice deep inside your eyes. Very well, he of fair eyes. It would appear that you and I are partners in our quest to find Triage. Huh? I accept you as a fellow hunter of Triage and pledge to fight by your side until my life gives out. What? Well, whatever. So, what's this about you being Project GU's leader? So, you also wish to enter my guild, huh? Uh, it is not easy to join me, since the condition is you must be able to draw. After all, GU stands for Graphics Unbelievable. So, do you know anyone named Yada? No, who's that? Forget it. Never mind. Okay. Well then, I'm off to formulate another plan. May the stars shine down upon you until you arrive at the end of your journey. I'm off! I feel like I just shaved 10 years off of my life. Guess I'll head back to town.